एस साउथ एशियन मीडिया ग्रुप वाई मीडिया Former President Donald Trump claimed that he, not President Joe Biden, will protect Social Security and warned of a bloodbath if he loses in November as he campaigned for Senate candidate Bernie Moreno in Ohio. Trump, speaking on a wind-whipped airfield outside of Dayton Saturday, praised his chosen candidate in the race as an American first champion and political outsider who has spent his entire life building up Ohio communities. Moreno faces Secretary of State Frank LaRosa and State Senator Matt Olin in Tuesday's GOP primary. LaRosa and Moreno have aligned themselves with the pro-Trump faction of the party, while Olin is backed by more establishment Republicans, including Giovia Mike Devine and former Senator Rob Portman. Saturday's rally was hosted by Buckeye Valley's PAC, a group backing Moreno's candidacy, but Trump used the stage to deliver a profanity-filled version of his usual rally speech that again painted an apocalyptic picture of the country if Biden wins the second term. Biden campaign spokesperson James Singer, on the other hand, accused Trump of doubling down on his threats of political violence. Trump campaign spokesman Steve Chiang said that Trump had clearly been talking about the impact of a second Biden term on the auto industry and broader economy. Trump's decision to back Moreno marked a major blow to LaRosa, who had taken a number of steps to win his favor. Just days after entering the Senate race, LaRosa endorsed Trump for president, reversing an earlier stance that the state's elections chief should maintain politically neutral. The next month, he fired a longtime trusted aide after old tweets surfaced in which he, the staffer, criticized Trump. The winner of Tuesday's primary will face third-term Senator Sherrod Brown, viewed as among the nation's most vulnerable Democrats in November. Brown, first elected in 2006 and uncontested in his primary this year, has managed to hold onto his seat even as the state has shifted to the right. In his most recent re-election in 2018, he defeated then Rapper Jim Rakino by almost seven percentage votes. Two years later, Ohio voted for then President Trump by eight points. Biggest South Asian Media Group, Why Media.